Hurricane Harvey. It's kicking everybody's ass. So that's today, KT 246. Simple. Do me a favor. Pray for those folks down in the path of the storm. Texas got a crushed. I see, I've see. i seen some radar stuff saying that Louisiana is next. They're going to get hammered as well. You know, do everything you can. Reach out to all your friends. It's the internet, so all of us know somebody down there. Reach out to them. Make sure they're okay. If you are able to help, make sure you are sure that whoever you're helping is actually legitimately going to be helping folks that are affected by the storm. You know, they got floodwaters down there that's what, about this tall, 50 inches. That's ridiculous. It's insanity. So please check on your friends. Make sure that everybody know everybody knows that everybody is safe. You know, the storm seems to be coming out of Houston. I've heard some stories say that it's, there's going to be more, some that it's not. I'm not a weatherman and I'm not a fortune teller, so I don't know. But check on your friends, check on your family, make sure everybody's down there safe. If you're in that area and you can help out, please do. If you are not, you know, check. There are people that are honest trying to do some good for the people down there. Make sure that if you're going to donate to a charity, donate to a relief fund, donate to whomever, double check who it is because I can remember the horror stories from Katrina and all of these other storms that have hit before. All these people raised tons of money and it got nowhere. So make sure that whoever it is that you're sending money to to help out with the folks down there, it is a legit organization. You know, check with the Better Business Bureau. Check, you know, a lot of the news outlets are very giving ideas of who you can support and who you can donate to. Make sure that it is a legit thing. Do not throw your money out the window. It's one thing to not support them. It's a whole other thing to try to support them and the money goes to some thief, often God knows where, because they happen to have a thing that looked like it was legit. Make sure you vet whoever it is that you're donating to and try to help those folks out. We've got a lot. I've got a lot of personal friends down there. I check on them just about every day. Making sure that they're if you dry, they got food, they got you know they're they're squared away, um, because I'm not there. You know, all along the Gulf Coast, I've heard that there's another storm coming up. I don't know anything about a, a much more than that, but just do me a favor, reach out to those that you know down there, check on them, make sure they're in one piece. Um, and that's it. Today's everyday K two. Just do me if you do what you can to help those folks out because they are going to have a very long. Very agonizing, very painful rebuilding period once all that flood water subsides. Because I know that there's a ton of it. F several feet of water, it's got to go somewhere. It'll eventually flow back to the ocean. How long is it going to take? Who knows? So between now and then, God only knows what's going to happen. But I hope that anybody out there who can does something to assist these folks in whatever way. Even if it's just a phone call to your friends or your family who live down there. Checking in on them. Make sure that they are safe and okay. I'll let you get going. Uh, again, check on your friends and family that live down there. Help out if you can. And I will see everybody tomorrow. And for those of you who are down in, uh, in the Houston area, down in Texas, please check in often. Let us know how you're doing. I will see you all tomorrow. Be strong. Put a kilt on.